Okay, uh, Jonathan, this is for you. I'm going to run you through exactly how I have my RX DSP set up for the 7300 using SDR console. Uh, the very first thing you want to do, and this is if, if you're running a Sabrent audio card and sending the audio via analog cable into channel one of the USB audio, and not the USB, the UM2 card. It sounds like you've got audio being fed through, uh, but you don't have processed audio. So I'm going to do a start to finish walkthrough so you can replicate this. You do not need banana. Uh, the only reason you need any type of banana or anything like that, is, like that is I run a very complex system, so I have to use something like that. Um, however, I've bypassed that completely because... Uh, I, I have multiple sound cards here, so not a problem. If you're bringing audio direct into the front of the radio, let's say via fist mic or desk mic or external rack, this is how you do it. All right. Shut down whatever you're running, that sonar or whatever. And uh, in console, very first thing in console is you want to select speakers. Three, USB audio device. That's your Sabrent card. Make sure that's selected. Now go open up Cakewalk. Go into Cakewalk. Go to Edit. Preferences. You Under Playback and Recording, you want to sele select Wasapi Shared. Okay. Make sure that's set. Click Apply OK. Go back to Devices. You want to select Line In Behringer USB WDM audio that will pick up the audio from the um2 okay you said you have a green light on on the um2 which means audio is being delivered to input one of the um2 next you want to select the output driver you want that to be your primary station card whatever you're using if it's your real tech card and your computer you want that to be speakers real tech audio if you're using an ex an additional external card as your primary station card selected appropriately. Okay, mine is the M Audio Air 192.4, which is my primary station card. Hit apply. Okay. Done. Now, depending on your gain and the AGCT, you should see audio immediately pop into Cakewalk. Okay, so I'll kick the audio on. Waiting, waiting for Nyaki to come back. A five RAG is in here on ten meters. Yes, why not? Maybe eighty. Well, not the, the best antenna here, but uh, we'll uh, try to do that. Uh, thank you, Greg, for jumping in. All the best. Enjoy the upcoming weekend. Seven three. Thank you, uh, and uh, stay well. K eight radio uniform echo five audit. Okay, that's it, baby. She's a running. That's all you need to do. Everything is driven with the AGC threshold, AGCT right here in console, or the input one gain knob on the UM2. Hope this helps, man. See you also, make sure in Cakewalk, uh, let me pop open Cakewalk all the way. Make sure in Cakewalk, if you grab this gray bar and you drag it out, see that little icon right there? Make sure your input echo is turned on, otherwise nothing's gonna happen in cakewalk all right that's got to be on all right that's it seven three